10,000 feet up, the Lockyer Valley looks an absolute picture below. And if you're going to take to the sky in a hot air balloon, then this is the place to do it. It's an incredible view, and in fact, it's exactly what they told me. The ground below looks like one giant patchwork quilt. Balloons above operate out of Laidley in the Lockyer Valley, about an hour west of Brisbane on the Warrigo Highway, heading towards Toowoomba. The Lockyer Valley itself is internationally known for its rich and fertile land and is incredibly the seventh richest farming area in the world, making it a picture-perfect place for a hot air balloon flight. Chase, tell me we're in safe hands, mate, because Richard Champion's used to flying high above the pack, <laughs> but I'm not. Not a problem at all, Chance. You've done it a few times? Thousands, absolutely thousands. Never had a problem flying for 13 to 14 years. It's now 200 years since the first hot air balloon took to the skies in Paris. But I'm happy to say with a little bit of trial and error and some modern technology, these babies have come a long way. Jason Harm is the owner of Balloons Above and a qualified commercial pilot. The balloon we're flying with today is incredibly 30 metres high and 23 metres wide. You can only appreciate the size when you come face to face with one of these monsters. The lower two thirds of the balloon is made up of ripped stop nylon, like parachute material, and has been spray coated to make it heat resistant. The top third is made of hyperlast, which is double the strength because it's from here that the balloon really gets its lift. The wicker basket fits eight adults and the two Thunder and Colt Stratus type burners are, would you believe, the quietest in the world. Chase, what height do the balloons get to and what speeds do you, can you get up to? We can take you to about two and a half to 3,000 feet over the Lockyer Valley simply because that's a good viewing height. And the speed we can get up to, we can do 30 knots at height, but the, the catch to it is, is to beat that wind to the ground and that gets back to the heating of the air temperature and that's where you, you trust in our pilot skills and that's what we've got lots of. <laughs> uh, we can almost see the Gabba from up here, mate. This is the best view I've ever seen, I reckon, <laughs> Roots. It's fantastic. Uh, you'd be used to be, you know, above the pack, but wouldn't you? Well, I don't think I've been up this high since about 1991 when I flew for a mark against North Melbourne. And uh, <laughs> But uh, it is an awesome sight, isn't it? And uh, just, a, as you, we spoke about before, just a very relaxing time. If you're afraid of heights, well, don't worry too much because it's not like anything you've ever experienced before. And when you're up there, you feel pretty safe. In fact, it's easy to forget where you are at times. The only tricky part can be finding a safe paddock to land in. Champs, not a bad way to start the day. I couldn't think of any better way, Roots, actually, and a beautiful day. I reckon flying makes you hungry and it's worked for me. Me too. They look after you at balloons above. After a very, very smooth landing, they'll fix you up with one of the best breakfasts in the Lockyer Valley. Cheers, mate. Cheers, big ears. The way it goes, big nose. <laughs> The balloon flight and breakfast package will cost you $150 per person, and I highly recommend it. Jason suggests you might even want to take advantage of one of their accommodation packages and explore the Lockyer Valley for the weekend. Give Jason or Sharon a call for more information. <laughs>